Okay, so instead of writing about what happened last week, I thought I'd tell you myself for once. Uh, so this is a little update of what happened last week in the form of a shark lesson. Um, before you see, last week we had three very special guests. We had Dr. Jennifer Schmidt from the University of Illinois in Chicago. We also had Dr. Alessandro Ponzo, who's recently established an NGO uh, based in Italy, but doing a lot of work out here in the Philippines on uh, marine uh, vertebrates. And also we had El Tanaka, a freelance conservationist. So those three visited us for one main reason, and that was to spear sharks for science. Um, yes, people, they were using this, this lovely spear, this is only part of it, um, to spear sharks. Um, now then, why do people spear sharks? It's a very uh, good question. And the answer is simple, they were here to collect tissue samples. Uh, Jennifer in particular um, is studying the DNA of sharks. Um, and why study the DNA? Well, there's two very good reasons. One, it can tell us more about where sharks breed or anything to do with their breeding and genetics. But also, more importantly, um, it helps us answer one of the big questions to do with whale sharks, and that's their migratory habits. Um, so we know that whale sharks are migratory, but we don't know to what extent. Um, so Jennifer's kind of looking at the DNA, and hopefully will be able to tell us a little bit more about the populations around the world. Uh, let me get my globe. Well, you see, who knows whether the sharks in the Philippines have anything to do with the sharks in Mexico, who have anything to do with the sharks in South Africa, or the Maldives, or the Seychelles, or India. Um, we don't know, but hopefully with more DNA analysis, maybe one day we'll come up with some kind of answer. Anyway, so what were we doing last week? Well, we were going out on the boat, and uh, Jennifer and Alessandro were using this, uh, to help collect their tissue samples. So this is what we would call a spear. It's only part of it. There's actually two or three bits that can go on the end. And they have elastic on their arm usually and they then pull it back and then the spear fires at the shark. And on the end of the spear is a biopsy tip. So this metal thing here um, spears the shark and actually takes a very small sample from the skin. Smaller than my fingernail. Uh, so it's a very small uh, piece of tissue that's needed and luckily because whale sharks have such a thick skin um, it doesn't seem to bother them at all um, and what they found is often the shark is still there and they can go back in um, so that's all good because whale shark skin if you bear with me from my lab you can see that whale shark skin has this kind of outer sandpapery feel um, outer skin which is made up of placoid scales kind of tooth like scales um, different to the scales of bony fish like the salmon because their scales are much flatter these are very rough so it's very tough skin um, and then behind that then is the further 10 centimeters of skin so you can imagine taking a tiny bit it's like the size of my fingernail from something that's 10 centimeters well it's tiny I suppose it's like being bitten by a mozzie um, so there you go that's your science lesson I um, hope you guys are a little bit wiser now.